now we know, or we see examples of responsible innovation and think ir irresponsible innovation. We, we go back to uh, responsible innovation and what uh, the academic uh, research has been in, in that area. Um, so the, the research on responsible innovation actually started with um, basic scientific research. And then we're slowly looking at how responsible innovation can be applied to quote unquote, the industry, which really means the business community. So in the basic scientific research realm, or in that context, uh, responsible innovation meant going into the lab. What is happening in the lab? And um, how can some, the stakeholders, those who probably will be affected or will be recipients of this basic innovation research, possibly regulators, how the, the question that was being asked was how can stakeholders be involved in, in basic scientific research? Um, the, the, the answer that's come out from these, um, from, from academic research has been that, um, uh, these stakeholders need to be more involved and that because of their involvement, their, uh, the direction of the basic scientific research has changed to to address some of the issues raised by the stakeholders and the stakeholders here um, are not just you know are not just funding agencies although they make they are a big uh, part of the, the um, of that group we are also looking at uh, the general public um responsible innovation in basic scientific research in the basic scientific research context had mostly been influenced by funding agencies and their priorities. And so um, everyone in, if you, if you are involved in big scientific research and you are uh, targeting funding or sponsorship from one of these uh, agencies, especially in Europe, there has to be some sort of, you, 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 you need to reflect or you need to show, demonstrate that you are Respond. You are. You have some of these aspects of responsible innovation. The industry, on the other hand, responsible innovation in the industry has only been recently investigated, and I think we, as a college of business, need to be more um, involved in, in this context. Um, the the responsible innovation requires. Uh, stakeholder involvement. And if we are aware of what's happening in the academic research in the business community, stakeholder, stakeholders have, are, are already involved. So why the need for uh, responsible innovation? Uh, the quick answer to that is that we need to expand, or at least current literature suggests that we need to expand that that the stakeholders and to make their involvement um, to deepen their involvement, to get them involved at earlier stages of the commercialization of innovation. Um, there is, however, some questions, and that's an uh, uh, ongoing uh, discussion within the community who's looking at responsible innovation in the, in the industry. When stakeholders are involved, you are, you, you post a problem of capturing rents of your proprietary knowledge. If they are involved, they're aware so of some of the technologies or they become aware of some of the technologies and that might reduce the rent from these uh, technologies. And so that is an ongoing question. It is a noble uh, thought and it came from the learning from the um, responsible innovation basic scientific research Although in the industry we need to, there is a need to balance um, involvement versus um, uh, the ability to seek grants for these proprietary technologies. So that's an outstanding question, which could be a potential research uh, topic for some of you who are engaged in stakeholder participation research. We also do, or some of the companies do, and there's also a stream of research in this. Um, uh, most or some companies uh, do some scenario planning, future sensing, technology assessments. All these techniques have been employed, especially in the innovation and product development. What more can be done? 
if that's part of responsible innovation. Um, one thing that's not um, prevalent or very or not emphasized with scenario planning, future sensing, um, is the acknowledgement that negative outcomes are likely and uh, that uh, these need to be taken into account. Um, also, there are some tools that may um, that encourage looking at uh, the niches or the fringes of society, and maybe those become useful indicators of potential negative outcomes. And finally, um, the, the, the future sensing need to be incorporated in some of the, um, especially in the product development process, in some of the decisions whether to continue or discontinue or kill or shelve the project if, if these negative outcomes have been, uh, have, have been identified. Uh, and so um, the re responsible innovation is not going to change the way we do things in product development. And that's the sense I'm getting from the current um, research on responsible innovation. Uh, responsible innovation encourages us to do more in order to be more cognizant of these negative outcomes.